Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Days Gone. Last episode we went ahead and uh, followed a Nero chopper and it, and, we just, and it left a radio, which we'll use in the future. Today we're going to restore power to this Nero camp. So, uh, first thing we want to do is to take a look around, see what we can find. Okay, let's get rid of these... Let's get rid of the megaphones, so nothing attracts this place. Uh, ground, uh, try and find any of them, there's another one there, so, um, okay, that's the last one in this building, but we want to look on there too, I think I see one on top of there. But we also want to look on the lamps, because they can also have some on there, so, okay. Right, there's no one there. There's another one here. Yes, but that's not on there. And there's not on there, meaning we are okay to restore the power. Okay, nope, nothing in there. Um, that could be useful later on. We've got that. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Nothing in there, just a bunch of garbage. Well, only one place left to look. Maybe. Go in here first. And, uh, ah, if you can, yes. Uh, ooh, hello. Uh, Clarestine and uh, a rag. Can't fuel. That's not what I meant to grab. Whoa, 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 hello. Okay then, let's fuel this baby up. Okay. Let's drop it. I think this might be enough. Okay, let's start it up. Yeah, we're gonna look for a fuse now because. Okay, let's take a look around. Which way? There you are. Wait, holy Yeah, we can also look for a fuse. Oh, I think there may be one in here. This music's going really. Of course, I missed one. Of course I missed one. I always miss one. I can never get a good day without one. Let's enter the base. Uh... There really better be something in here with all this trouble. Oh, what's in here? Nice, a sterilizer. Another Nero Micro. Nero Camp's full. What are we gonna do? Know about you. 
but I got a plan. A plan? What, what are you talking about? I don't understand. No! No, no, no! <laughs> Jesus Christ. So many people. Looks like Boozer said, hell of a way to go. Backed up at these checkpoints. Waiting to inject her. Jesus Christ. All the good shit. Jesus Christ. All right, let's upgrade the health again. Mm. All right, another checkpoint. Ah, oh, we're still not there yet. Okay, uh, where next? We are going to go to get this ambush camp. Alright then, let's get on the bike and head to the ambush camp. Should check the fuel first. Should be fine in theory. I don't see where we should be. Uh, should be fine, I hope. Like, probably I don't need to go ahead and just take a pit stop somewhere. Alright, let's stop here. This should be good enough. Then we can go ahead and walk the rest on foot and then start to take out the ambush camp. But you murdering assholes can't let any of them get out of here alive. You're down. You're shooting me. No, 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 yo. No, no, Jesus Christ, you are. Right, let's try again. Right, that's it. We're going in. Straight after I kill you. That's not a good sign. Hell, hell, hell. I might stop. Yeah, this ain't a good sign. I'm out. Oh, actually, it wasn't too bad. Will you? Oh, die! I thought I got you all. Ooh. 
Oh wait, no, I did not get you. I'm dead, I'm dead. I ain't gonna survive this, am I? Hey, that's my... Take all your stuff. Nothing like scrap. Jesus, guys, my bike. Big. Okay. Okay. At least we got a few bounties. Bounties are always nice. You never know when your bounties could be useful. Okay, uh, what else have we got over here? Okay, the bunker. Where is it? Can we break this open? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we could use this. Oh, this. Uh, I guess it's gonna break. So, where is it? Distance. Oh, it is over there. Yeah, <laughs> flag grenades. Always useful. Take a look around here. The bunker could be around. Here somewhere. Hello, any bunker? Ah, found it. There's the hatch. Yeah, they had one. They always have one. And I think it might be wise to head back to the hot. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Many of you probably don't remember the Cold War. But living through it was a special kind of hell. Every time you heard a plane flying overhead, Think for sure that this is it. That's the one coming to drop the big one on us. <laughs> we lived through the Red Scare. Man didn't know if his neighbor was an American who bled red, white, and blue. But communists red to the bone. Made it hard to trust. My father, God rest him, taught me the only way to be safe in dark times was to go underground. We built my first bunker with him. But we couldn't build it out in the backyard. With a neighbor spy. Had to go out into the woods. Ways from the road. Where no one would happen upon it. With a bunker. You knew that if the country went to hell in a handbasket. You could open that manhole cover. Climb down the ladder and you'd be safe. With your radio. And your hoard of food and ammo. Things haven't changed. Better to dig a bunker. Than an early grave. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Uh, yeah, Cope? How'd that work out for the poor bastards who own the one that I just cleared out? Huh? Not so good, I'm guessing. Since they were all dead long before I ever got there. <laughs> all right. What I got here? A map? Yes. Nice map. Oh, we're nearly there with that. Ooh, you can break a smoke bomb. Nice. Gun locker. I don't think there's any guns here. I'll take that. Take out that. And...
Okay, next up is, um, I think it's time to take a trip to the Hot Spring camp to uh, deliver the bounties. And yeah, so uh, Hot Springs is over here, ain't it? Yeah. Then the next episode we can do these two and hopefully that will be enough to go ahead and... Um, I never really thought about that, did I? Back over down we go. Oh, here we go, not down there. Now, oh, come on. Uh, how are we doing for this area, actually? Uh, let's see, uh, another Neo camp point and one more ambush camp. So I think those will be enough to go ahead and set us for our next destination. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that kind of scared the devil. That scared me a bit. Stupid bear traps. Uh, kill you. I'll break them all if I have to. That way we can actually go ahead and... Um, we'll up... With them, we can update credits. Oh, bloody it, not again! I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? It's back over here. This is where the bike is. And also a fuel can, because we're going to be running out. Because we're running out of fuel. I know it's all one. It's just a matter of where. Ooh. How do we even get into this place? That's a bigger question. Ah, here we go. Oh, did I even... Oh, we already have full bandage. And the bike's down here. What's on the quest list? Let's just answer that question first. But yeah, we're gonna do that. I'll get that. That can be done later. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna do not that one, but and that one. Okay. We still got things to do, and uh, this one we don't know how to continue that one. Like it's the one problem I have with days. Well, a few problems I have with days gone. First one being like it does. It takes a while for the game to actually get started. And second of all, um, you don't know, like, you don't know, I think to continue on with the main story, like, to con compress on, we need to get those camps, and can I get rid of this? Thank you, I don't want to see it happen. You need to find, you need to know what's the main quest, and I don't want to clear out those logging camps until we have better weapons, and m mainly more um, alcoholic stuff. And I think the last two, what we need to, why did it just freeze? I hate when it happens. I think this is an infestation zone? No, uh, not quite, it's not an infestation zone. But we can look in if we want to, but I'm not going to do that. I think I may need to, like, continue traveling around a bit. Like, we're mainly helping out the Hot Springs camp, because they have better weapons. Uh, not much stuff for our bike. We're going to have to do some stuff for the Hot Springs camp, which I can do in between episodes. Like, like one episode, I could just go ahead and just travel around the place, you know, going ahead, finding stuff. Uh, finding a few things and going ahead and just... Stuff. Try and find anything in the hot springs area. Damn it, sniper ambush. Uh, I think we should be fine. <laughs> the second I say anything! Where's the sniper? Ah, so there you are, you little son of a gun. No, 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 no. Rippers! That's what we're dealing with, is it? Alright, that's it. Stop hiding, you coward! Uh, you feel 
this, huh? Goddamn sniper. You wanna get low? You wanna get low rippers. These guys are a moment of jerks. I'll steal your stuff too. You don't need it. You're dead. Right, back to the bike. We're nearly at the hot springs. Yeah, if you want me to continue on as the main stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is this thing completely broken? It is. They broke my bike. Okay. Okay, not quite, but close. I broke my bike. That's my bike. Get your own. They do. <laughs> and you know what? You can sabotage your bikes too to get more scrappage. Uh, how are we doing with points actually with skills? Oh, we've got two. Uh, there was one I was wanting. Oh. Uh, Oh, that seems to like a good one to get, and yeah. Skill tier 2 unlocked. Just a cool town of focus. One focus. Power to stop weaker enemies. Uh, yeah, we'll have that too. Okay, yeah, there, there, yeah, there we go. Like, sorry, I'm like not doing like much of the main quest, but I want to go ahead and upgrade the camps to the free tier because you get better gear and stuff. and they're always good to use. Uh, and besides, when we have like better stuff, uh, we can then have an easier time doing like, well, well, we'll then have a better time doing um, clearing out the freakers' nests. And um, take, taking on ambush camps and all that stuff. Like, what I'm saying is, the more stuff we. Yo, Jesus! Cries on our bike. We're getting. I just dealt with these. Yeah, this is actually helping us out, actually, with that. Then we go. It's okay. Opening the gate. And also, with a better trust, like they trust you more, they know you more. Like you can go ahead and say, "Oh yeah, I recognize that guy." Okay, yeah, I'm gonna. Um, not much, but. That's it. But it's better than nothing. And uh, let's hand in the bounties. Bounties, bounties, bounties. How you doing? Swarm of stuff that mm -hmm. gets us our trust up a bit more. You know, Level of bike and fix it a bit. Hey, what's up? And Algae. Yeah. What's happening? Something. That's a good weapon. We. Oh wait, we can't get that one. Oh, I was looking at that. One. Yeah, these two, yeah. I'm not sure which one looks better one now. I'll decide that a bit later on. A shotgun might be good. And... Oh god, he's level 3. Yeah, that's kind of good, but I've got a good weapon there. That's a g average one. It looks better, but the really penetration and stopping power and... Yeah, we'll get this one. It looks faster, looks better, looks stronger. Okay, we're gonna grab you. Uh, don't get you. Pick you up. This will do you good out there. Sure, that seems good enough. Med kit, we can't get that, we can't get that. But that will do. If you need anything else, later. Yeah, nothing for Tucker. And I think that's a good point to end the episode. So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do a like and subscribe. Make sure you don't miss out on future content. Next episode, go on bike. Next episode, we'll be going ahead and, uh, well, tackling this ambush, 
this Ripper Camp, and also this Nero Checkpoint. So, and hopefully that should get us enough equip enough for us to go ahead and um, tackle these logging camps, uh, this logging camp infestation. So, which will not only get us experience for Copeland's camp, but also help us get more stuff for the main mission. And um, maybe we can explore a bit, you know, maybe I'll go ahead and explore in between episodes. Find uh, the other Nero checkpoint and the other two ambush camps. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day and take care.